Have you skipped breakfast and lunch only to eat dinner? I didn't know you were intermittent fasting. That's crazy. Huh, intermittent fasting. So you've essentially skipped breakfast and lunch and you called it something fancy. Hold up. Here are my biggest complaints about intermittent fasting is that where the number one, well, one of the biggest problems I see with new clients that come on board. I don't have breakfast. Now breakfast isn't the most important meal of the day, but it sets the tone for the day. Not only that, it keeps you full. You've been, you've been fasted essentially for eight to nine hours, depending on how you sleep. So your body's craving fuel. And then if you don't eat for another four, <coughs> eight hours, get the, guess what's gonna happen? Your brain's gonna be deprived of energy as much as it could be in the bloodstream, right? Because carbs and stuff in the bloodstream, you're not gonna have as much. Uh, or glucose, let's say. So you're gonna feel pretty tired, sluggish, that sort of stuff, and the quickest calorie source you can get, you are going to take, because your brain is built for survival. Don't skip breakfast, have a reasonable breakfast. It doesn't have to be much, but it's a good idea to make it somewhere in the realm of a quarter of your daily in intake of calories, should be on breakfast. So if you're on a 1200 calorie diet for the day, I'd recommend 300 calories for breakfast, 400 calories for lunch, 500 calories for dinner. Something like that is very, very reasonable and it'll stop you from binging in the PM. Now, a lot of people don't tell you this about intermittent fasting. They tell you all the perks. Have one meal a day and it can be whatever you want and you can get shredded and lose fat. But is that meal gonna be the most wholesome and healthy for you? No. You're gonna need to eat junk food to get in that many calories, which means it's probably gonna be mostly carbs, mostly fats and zero protein. So for 1200 calories, I'm getting 40, 50 grams of protein. When if I have two scoops of protein powder, it can be 240 calories and that's 50 grams of protein. So the quality of food has to be super nutrient dense, but not the right nutrients that you want. Very micronutrient sparse, if anything. The team, if you're thinking about skipping breakfast, you're thinking about intermittent fasting, one, think about the sustainability, two, go and track everything you do so you understand what your patterns of behavior are because a lot of people pretend like, no, I eat most of the time I eat good. And then I ask them, what did you eat yesterday? And they're like, well, I had a pizza. Well, guess what, dickhead? That's not good eating. Sorry, it's enjoyable. I love pizza and I'm gonna have lots of pizza in my life. However, that's not good eating. Really important to get those things across. Intermittent fasting sucks. I do not support it. But if it works for you, it works for you. But 10 times out of 10, I've seen people who do intermittent fasting fall flat on their face. Like, oh, it's a really good idea. I think I want to start intermittent fasting. And they just f up and they go back to their normal weight again. If not in two months, two weeks, two years. But it always ends up blasting and blowing up in your face. If you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Riz Fitness on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram at the same handle or TikTok. Hope this video found you well. And until next time. Hey!